Hello guys, welcome to another video with Cass, and today I have here with me Space Walker. Hello. So guys, a couple of weeks ago we were helping Doc with some piston doors, and then we came up with this idea. Let's make an H door. So yeah, Space Walker here with me will demonstrate by activating the door. And yeah, it's a true layer door. This is how it opens. Let's see the closing. So yeah, we spent a lot of time trying to make sure that the door synchronizes really nicely. So yeah, uh, let's demonstrate it once again. So yeah, you can see all the sides work really nicely. Yeah, the layout's pretty simple as well. Yeah, let's take a look at the other side here so you can, guys can have a sneak peek at the redstone. Uh, but don't worry guys, because in any case, we are now going to do a tutorial for this door. Alright guys, so before we start with the video, I would like to give you guys a little bit of a context. So, uh, this is DocM77's Patreon server, despite Ito being there at the back. <laughs> and this is where he uh, reunited a bunch of people to showcase this door here, the dollar sign door, which is a design by Spacewalker. So, I'm gonna let Spacewalker talk a little bit about it. So, as you can see, uh, it, it has a really nice bling bling <laughs> design with a dollar sign. Uh, and that's because Dockham built it uh, for the stock exchange on Hermitcraft. And um, if you look at the animation here, you can see it has kind of a really heavy... It, the idea of kind of a lock moving in and out of place with this whole ring here. So it's a really unique design. And uh, if you want to see a tutorial on, on this, then you can check that out on my channel. It's right there, so uh, you can build this for yourself. Yeah, and uh, also we want to quickly mention what inspired us to do the H door. So if you could flick the lever, you'll notice that right in the middle of the door, the animation kind of shapes in, uh, kind of makes up shape of an H letter. So uh, people were really happy with that, especially Doc. So we decided to uh, build a special H door just because of this. Okay, guys, so this is the base layout for everything. So you can see that we have a double extender at the top and the same thing at the bottom. All of those pistons that you see here are sticky pistons, so you can just pause the video now and copy those. And the door has those two layers, but in the end, it's going to be uh, three layers in total. There's going to be a layer in front of it. So if you're if you're digging someplace to build this thing, make sure to account for that. And then here with the block uh, with the yellow blocks, we have double extenders that you have to include as well. All right, guys, we've removed some of the blocks here because the the pistons are going to fire during the building, so they are just going to get in the way. Okay, uh, we will start wiring this thing from the bottom. So this is where your input is going to be. And uh, we are going, to, we in Space Walker are going to be building the same exact thing on both sides because the door is symmetric. So yeah, you just need to follow by placing a node block in here. Then you need observer facing this way, another node block. Uh, and then from here you have a solid block, redstone dust, a torch, observer block, uh, and also here we need a torch, piston, and observer block. And here we need two pairs of hoppers and droppers. So first one faces this way, second one faces this other way. Place your uh, hoppers facing the ways uh, you see in here and then here we need a comparator. You can place one item inside this guy and another item inside this other dropper. And then from here, we also need a pair of observer blocks that go from here and connect to this piston. And finally, the observer block that goes here powers this redstone dust and this other solid block. And now I can fly around to show you guys what your bottom is going to be. All right, people, now let's build the sides. Start by placing a sticky piston here. Sticky piston is going to connect to this observer block on the side. And then this torch is going to power the second observer block, like you see here. And then here at the back, you're going to have redstone dust here. And then there's going to be a wire going up like this. So three pieces of redstone dust that connect to this block in the end. So on top of the solid block, you also want to have another sticky piston 
and then you want to place uh, a cauldron and then you need to place water in it make sure not to hold shift otherwise the water will spill and spoil your circuit so here you also need a uh, known stick piston and on top of it solid block with a comparator we will draw a signal from this uh, from this cauldron from the other side as well and here we actually need a slab so we don't cut the signal and then we can place another comparator all right so now we have to place uh, a few observers in here so in the middle start by placing one observer facing up and two facing down just like you see here and for the double extender you want to have a solid block here and another solid block by this piston so the signal gets cut and then another observer facing upside down repeat your own two ticks on top of the observer and then another piece of redstone dust this uh, observer here is going to power a dropper facing forward connect a hopper to it and make sure to have one item inside it i'm going to place a fur because i want to do things right and here you have another observer now here you also want to draw a signal so you need two more observers one facing down and another one facing forward repeater on one tick repeater on three ticks and now we can have a solid block in here so this is going to power this piece of redstone dust and we can also connect it with a solid block on the side okay this solid block here is not supposed to be here so make sure to not have solid blocks in there and finally on the opposite side you hold shift and you place a observer block this in this way and another solid block here all right people at this point your door should be ready to test so we're going to place uh, a few blocks in here uh, just to demonstrate and to make the h you just need to place a stair in here it's going to be uh, an upside down stair in here and i'm placing in yellow the blocks that are going to be movable so uh this go in this this goes in this direction and uh, all of this is going to be covered by other blocks so you can decorate as you want okay space walker is placing the last few blocks in there and uh, yeah this is how it looks from the other side and now i think it's ready to be tested so just flick the lever and there's your closing flick the lever again and that is your opening so uh this door was mostly designed by spacewalker and with some collaboration from me so if you guys would like to check out spacewalkers channel there is a link in the video description uh anything you would like to mention uh yeah so first of all thanks for having me and uh for everyone watching if if you want to check out my channel i've recently been getting into fast doors and stuff so if you like lots of uh, fast doors and zero tick stuff definitely check it out uh, you'll see more of that in the future okay guys so i think that's going to be it for today thank you very much for watching don't forget to visit spacewalkers channel don't forget to leave a like thank you very much for watching and hope to see you back soon bye uh, this is not your bottom <laughs> 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 oh man what a circus okay,